So Bartolomeo is my most played character in Pirate Wars 4 so far, and I have not had this much fun trying to learn all the characters' quips and special techniques since probably the original Hyrule Warriors, and half of that is pretty much inspired by the fact that no one is really talking about him at all, or even this game at all. This game seems pretty much set online. Um, so, yeah, Bartolomeo, he is pretty much seen as kind of trash, and just no one really is explaining how to use him, so I'm going to try and compile everything that I have personally tested and learned about this character into this video, and if any one of you even dare step away from this video without learning a single thing, then I'm going to be absolutely enraged. Anyways, let's get into it. So you look at Bartolomeo's movesets, you look at his standard attack string, and you look at all of his charge attacks. Generally, he is slow, he has low damage, and he has poor range. How do you make any of this work? So, the attacks I use most are going to be C1, C4, and C5. Starting with C4 specifically, um, you can see that he will attack around him twice. He'll just create a dome and then he'll fall down and hit enemies. Damage on it is somewhat moderate. Um, and the second hit of this will um, apply the annoyed status effect to enemies. Which I will get to later. Um, and C5 is a, an attack that will throw a bomb in front of you. It covers a very large radius and then two sheets of barriers will fall down on top of the enemies. Um, and both the first and second hits of this attack will also annoy enemies. Um, so generally you want to use these two attacks to annoy enemies, and that's the main use of them. Um, one kind of problem, though, I have noticed is that for C4, if your damage is too high, um, enemies will die instead of getting annoyed, and they'll just straight out die. Um, in that case, I would rather use C5 because you do want enemies to be annoyed, not dead, which I will get to. Now, so C1, you use this move, and it's like... What is this? Is this some kind of counter or something? No. Um, so basically what you do with C1 is that once you use it, enemies that are annoyed will run into you and they will get launched straight up. Now, you can also hold down this button and that's you want to hold down the button. You want enemies to run straight into you. Don't just press it. Hold the button down. Um, so what is the main use of this? It's not damage, but it will absolutely supercharge your special gauges. They will fill near instantly. It is hilarious how fast they fill. And all the footage I'm using in this video, I am not even using any kind of special charge up abilities or skills. This is just naturally how fast they charge. It's insane how fast these skills charge. And most of his damage is going to come through his specials. So being able to charge up specials this quickly with this method is so vital so pretty much the cycle is going to be annoy enemies with c4 or c5 then use c1 charge your specials and then just unleash your specials and do ridiculous amounts of damage um before i get to his specials though i'm just going to go over the rest of his moves so c2 he just kind of stomps in front of himself and then creates a cylindrical barrier in front of him for the most part, I really only use this if the enemy is only at like a sliver of health left and I just need to hit them with something to finish it off, but otherwise, generally avoid it. C3, he'll dash forward, scoop up enemies along the way, and then hit them with a bat. For the most part, this attack is kind of nice for scooping up enemies if you just do like the first hit of it, and then um, press weak attack for the standard like technique type gimmick of just grouping up enemies in front of you so you just use the first hit c3 and then weak attack cancel it with a weak attack and then just scoop up enemies in front of you that's kind of a nice way to group up enemies that's not something i find myself needing to do very often but if you need to that's kind of what it's used for um, and then for air attacks for his strong attack he will swing a racket for the most part I have not found any use for this, this is actually just a bad move. <laughs> um, unless there is some hidden use for it that I still have not found yet because I feel like I'm finding new stuff about this character every single day, but I still have not found any use for this attack so you can kind of just avoid it. Um, and if I ever use it, it's just a misinput. And then weak attack, he will throw out a quick bomb. 
Um, I find myself using this move less and less as time goes on. Um, one part about it that is interesting is that you can just kind of press weak attack, dash, weak attack, dash, weak attack, dash, and you can spam the bombs fairly quickly. Um, so that's also another way of just depleting an enemy if they only have like a little sliver of health left. That's another effective thing. You can kind of just cause chaos and just scatter enemies around it. Um, and if you're kind of knocked into the air and you just want to throw out an attack, weak attack is definitely the better way to go over strong attack. But overall, there's not much use that you're going to purposely use it, I guess, yeah. So that's it for his standard attacks. Now we move on to his specials. What I'm using here is I have his full force burst, because duh. Um, I have two Muso specials, and then variability Tarai. If I'm pronouncing that right, probably not. Anyways, Tarai is the big thing. You need to be using this. If you are not using this, you are not playing the character correctly. You need to have this ability on. So. What does this ability do? You just point and then a dish will fall onto a single target's head. What is the point of this? Well, it can instantly delete a shield gauge off an enemy. It does not matter who they are, it doesn't matter how full the shield gauge is, it doesn't matter if they're a giant or a normal human sized character. You point your finger at them, the shield gauge gets deleted. It's not even just a lot of damage, it just goes away completely which is absolutely hilarious. You're fighting against Logia types like Smoker or um, Kazaru who are just flying around like madmen because they're Logia users but also Sky types. So, I mean, hitting them is impossible. Use Tarai, point at them, Shield Gauge gets deleted instantly, and now they no longer are invincible and you can just hit them with whatever. And when I say hit them with whatever, that's where your Musa specials are going to come in. So, um, Bartolomeo has a choice between three different Musa specials, Barrier Fortress, um, Barry Barry Pistol, and Barrier Crush. Um, between the t three of them, Barrier Fortress is definitely the best one, that's the one you definitely want to use. Um, and then for your second slot, it's pretty much a toss up between Barry Barry Pistol or Tsurai, uh, or uh, Barry Barry Pistol or Barrier Crush, sorry. Um, from like the two other Bartolomeo players I've managed to find in Soxu, both of them prefer using Barrier Crush. It's faster uh, and easier to aim, but I'm just so used to using Barry Barry Pistol that I'm just stick with it. Overall, Barrier Crush is probably the better one to go with, so you're gonna wanna use um, Barrier Fortress and Barrier Crush as your two specials. But it, if you're comfortable with enough with Barry Barry Pistol like I am, then you're you can use it as well, it's not that big of a deal. And then Full Force Burst, of course, exists there. Um, so, general game flow with Bartolomeo, use C4 or C5 to annoy enemies. Then use C1 to have the annoyed enemies run into you, charge your specials up, then go into Full Force Burst, then use Tarai to delete the shield to get off enemies, and then just use your specials and watch their health get deleted instantly. So, what's crazy about this is I pretty much, because enemies from C5 and being annoyed and just running at you from C1 and getting launched in the air, and with all of your constant specials and also getting dazed and knocked out by Tarai, enemies are going to be going through so many different attacks, or not attacks, cycles of animations and stuff that they aren't even going to get the chance to attack you. From C5 they're running away from it and now they're annoyed and then you C1 and now they're running straight at you and then get launched up in the air. You activate full force burst, you use Tarai and then you delete their shield gauge and now they're stunned and then you use specials and you just wipe them out. So that's pretty hilarious of Bartolomeo that he can kind of just force enemies to just stop attacking so he don't really need to have much healing if you are um, if you do need the help though he does have space in his skill slot so you can put on some kind of healing skill so it's not that big of a deal but for the most part he is a bit defensive not in the sense that 
he's going to be blocking or reflecting attacks with his barriers, but that he's just going to be forcing enemies to do all kinds of things that aren't attacking you, which is pretty insane. And for his skill slots, for the most part, you just want damage, um, full force burst enhancement, special damage, those two are definitely essential. For his last three skill slots that he has, um, you have some options. You can use Resilience or Devotion for longer full force burst time. It doesn't matter which one you use, they both give the same amount of boost. Um, although you could stack both and have a really, really long full force burst, but I'm gonna get to that later. That's not really needed, although I will still usually pick on one just to have that kind of safety of just slightly lengthier full force burst. Um, and then beyond that, Great Pirate's Ire just to annoy enemies easier. That is another essential part of his kit at the beginning, just so that you get those initial specials when you're not in full force burst yet. Um, and then beyond that is just kind of whatever damaging skills you feel like, or if you need healing, like I said, then you can put that on as well. So other general tips for him, mostly around full force burst. So when you're in full force burst, of course, like technique, for every other technique type, um, pretty much all attacks, even just standard weak hits, are going to apply whatever status effect the character usually applies. So all of your attacks are pretty much going to annoy enemies. One really great use out of this is that you can essentially sort of have an infinite um, full force burst once you get it up. So if your full force burst is about to run out or you want to just switch it off because you're done fighting whatever big enemy, you can just hit enemies with a few weak attacks just to annoy them and then switch off full force burst and then you can use C1 because the enemies will stay annoyed. You C1, the enemies will run at you and then your full force burst is charged back up instantly. So you can just kind of cycle through that so you can have the cycle of just going in full force burst, attacking enemies, shutting off full force burst, using C1, charging it back up instantly, going back into full force burst, slapping enemies around just to annoy them, shutting off full force burst, using C1, charging up your special again, and just cycle through that over and over and over again. So you won't be out of full force burst that often, and that's also kind of why I feel like you don't really need to have full force burst duration up because you can just get it back in here instantly. It's just, you won't have to be doing that as often. So that's kind of just a personal thing, um, if you feel. And also, um, yeah, special charge up. I didn't mention that earlier. Special charge up, again, you don't really need it. You can have it if you just want that extra safety, but you won't be finding much use for it just because with how ridiculously fast these specials are going to charge. So, also with Tarai, after you have dazed an enemy and their shield gauge is down, you have two specials. Personally, the order I would prefer using them in is using Barrier Fortress first, hit the enemy, and then because they're going to get knocked back, dash towards them, and then use Berry Berry Pistol or Barrier Crush second. Um, it doesn't matter whichever one you're using. Um, main thing being that they're kind of easier to aim because like Barrier Fortress, I mean, it hits around you, but um, the launch angles of uh, Barrier Crush and Barrier Barrier Pistol can be kind of wonky, so they can kind of like launch an enemy in a weird direction. Um, and the other thing is that um, Barrier Crush and Barrier Barrier Pistol can both be used in the air. So if you dash towards the enemy, but then you kind of like get stuck in mid-air, you can just still use the special anyways. Because there are times when uh, you use the special, and then right after they get hit by the special, they'll get up and then they'll do their little like AoE blasts and have super armor and just say you can't hit me and they just fully charge their shield to get you back up immediately. So you kind of want to get that second special out as quickly as possible and it's kind of faster to use Barrier Fortress first and then whatever one you have is equipped as your second special. And I believe that is going to be everything I can cover in this video. I still feel like I'm forgetting one thing, but I can't really remember what it is exactly. But I feel like I covered more than enough anyways, and I feel like this should clear up most 
of the questions about this character because he is really weird, really unorthodox. You don't have a simple game plan of just this attack does big damage, use big attack damage, and it's not that. He has a lot of setup, and really all of his standard attacks are just setup, and you're doing most of his damage through specials, which is fairly weird for a character, but it works surprisingly well, so hope this cleared up how to use this barrier clown dude. Anyways, that should be it for this video. Um, I don't really plan on making any more because it's just this is kind of like a one-off thing because he is my most played character in this game. I'm not really sure I would even be able to make a video for any other characters in the game. Especially because a lot of them are a lot more straightforward. It's mostly just because Bartolomeo is so weird and I just wanted to try to piece together this unorthodox character for the most part. But that is it for this video. Goodbye.